Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and today I would like to do work do a commentary slash reaction videos on some more childish dad ones by the real random wazi. Since I have a couple I haven't react to yet, and the ones I'm gonna react to are the latest ones to be released. And um so yeah, and the first one I'm gonna react to is child even though it's a day late, it's childish dad wants it as the Easter bunny, but I figure why not do it because it was Easter yesterday, and I would have done this video yesterday, but I got I got busy yesterday, so, and I was just cel just busy celebrating Easter and doing special things, so yeah. But anyways, I'll react to this video just because why not? Because Easter is a good holiday. But anyways, without further ado, let's react to the video. Wow! Look at all of these Easter eggs. I th yeah, look at all those Easter, those Easter eggs look really cool. I have to agree. I think there's more than what we had last year. Wow. Well, happy Easter, kids. Hey, mummy. Happy Easter, that? Catherine. I he would have been right. Happy Christmas Easter to the Johnson the from the Johnson family. Eggs. Yeah, that is strange. I thought that he would have already been at by now. He has those Easter eggs look nice. I, I want. Easter. I actually want those Easter Maybe eggs. Maybe he's still in bed asleep or something. I did hear him last night praying to the Easter Bunny to bring him lots of chocolate eggs for about two hours. Ooh, I love chocolate eggs. Cadbury and the Hershey chocolate eggs. Those are my favorite ones. So maybe he's catching up on some much needed sleep. Yeah. He could. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. What on earth? What's Dave dressed as? Oh, he's dressed as the Easter Bunny. Nice. <laughs> Easter family. Happy <Yeah>. Easter. <laughs> it's finally Easter. Oh my god. Daddy's a fairy. Dave, what on earth are you? Emma, Dave is a Dave is a Dave's the Easter Bunny. He's not the fairy. He's the Where Easter Bunny. Well, seeing of today is Easter. I don't nice costume, to Dave. Costume today, you know, get into the Easter mood. What? I can't argue with that, Dave, because because you're definitely showing your Easter spirit by being the Easter Bunny. Well, you do you. I guess. You do well, you. I agree, Brian. Me. I must pay a visit to the Easter Bunny to thank him for all the chocolate eggs that he has left us. Hey, Dave, wait a minute. You oh, my God. The Easter, Easter Bunny, Bunny isn't real, Dave. You're a grown-ass man. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Dave. The Easter Bunny isn't even real. Exactly. What? Neither neither is Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy. The Easter Bunny is not real. And who else isn't real? Cupid's, Cupid's not real. Pretty much every holiday character isn't real. Like, the Easter Bunny's not real, neither is Santa Claus, his elves, the reindeers, Mrs. Claus, um, Cupid, and then, um, the fairy, the two fairy. Yeah, none of them are real. No, you lie. The Easter Bunny is real. She's telling the yes. truth, Dave. I met him at the mall last week, and I sat on his knee and told him what Easter eggs I wanted. Oh, for the love of God, Dave, that was a person dressed as an Easter Bunny. Anytime you see an Easter Bunny in a mall or any public place, or Santa Claus, or the elves, or the reindeers, it's it's always a person dressed up as that. Because they're trying to spread the holiday cheer for the little kids. Because little kids believe in those type of, those type of, um, people for holidays. Oh, give me strength. That wasn't the actual Easter Bunny. Exactly. Was someone dressed in a bunny suit. Yeah, it's someone dressed Easter in a bunny, bunny suit like real. you are, Dave. Just like Santa Claus isn't real. Silence. The Easter Bunny nice, is Dave, real. Nice, Dave. Nice. Just like Santa Claus is real. You're just trying to stop me from visiting the Easter Bunny because you're jealous. For the love of God, again, Dave, for the love of God, the Easter Bunny isn't real. You can't visit the Easter Bunny. You also can't visit Santa Claus or... Pretty much any of the make-believe characters. I mean, sure, the North Pole does exist in real life, but Santa Claus does not live there. It's mostly polar bears. Who are almost going extinct. And then mostly penguins live in the South Pole. Oh, for the love of five guys, I'm not <laughs> For thirsty. the love of five I guys. I being ridiculous, wanting to visit someone who doesn't exist. Exactly. <laughs> Dave's throwing his trademark tantrum. <laughs> Cries will flexing. Wah! Stop it. Stop it. And anyway, aren't you a little too old to be believing in the Easter Bunny? Oh, yeah? 
You're way too old, Dave. You're 35 oh, years old. Right. LOL. Okay, <laughs> 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 oh, for the love of Donnie Johnson. Never. Never. You wicked unbelieving <laughs> witch. How many times do we need to go over this? The Easter Bunny does not exist. Yeah, how many times do we have to go over this? Those characters do not exist in real life. They're only seen in... As a person dressed up as them, or in movies or decoration. Besides, only little children believe in the Easter Bunny. Ex exactly, only little children do. I I was one of those kids when I was little who believed in Santa Claus, Cupid, the Easter Bunny, Mrs. Claus, the reindeers, the elves, and um, the Easter Bunny, and like the Tooth Fairy, like pretty much all of them. Big beefcake men like yourself. <laughs> Big beefcake now, man. I love that. I love that like insult. Just accept that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist. Well, if it doesn't exist like you so evilly claim, then who brings the chocolate eggs? Why I do? Obviously. Duh! It's an adult that brings them. It's also an adult that brings the presents, eats the cookies and carrots, and drinks the milk. And what else do the adults do? Oh yes. Leave money under your pillow for when you leave your tooth under there after, like, you lose a tooth when you're a child. Because you start to lose your baby teeth and then your adult teeth will grow in when, as you get older. No. You lie. You lie. She's not lying, Dave. The chocolate X, the Easter Bunny did, and I want to visit him to thank him for the X Y. Fun fact, I actually, while we're on the topic on this video of the Easter Bunny, um, I actually used to own a pet rabbit. You know what? Forget it. I'm done trying to reason with you, so I'm just going to leave you in here to calm yourself down, you oversized bunny. Yeah, <laughs> oversized bunny. <laughs> you are a hey. cruel and evil bitch. Wow. Boy, I heard that. Now, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> wow, that's... That's one of the funniest insults I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to get up for a second to go move my laundry because um, my room is next to the laundry room and I can obviously hear the laundry machines running right now. Well, actually the washing machine. The dryer just stopped. It just finished. Since my room is nearby and I have to do this from time to time whenever I'm making videos, just get up in the middle to get my laundry, so... I do apologize. I'll be I'll be right back.
right, I'm back, guys. I do apologize for the delay. Just had to move my laundry since I'm right next to the laundry room, obviously. Just like I was in my dorm freshman year, my dorm room. Okay. Back on to the video. Okay, so the next video we got to react to is... Okay, hang on a second. I gotta scroll down to the very bottom because those are the newest ones in the playlist. Okay, so sorry, I gotta I gotta fix this. I gotta slightly fix my um, top part of the laptop because it's a little crooked. Next video we gotta I'm gonna react to is Childish Dad gets turned into a cat. It's probably gonna be by some witch or something. I don't know. I know I've got a comeback in me. I know I have a comeback. Ignore the advertisement. <laughs> Yeah, it does do you good. It's definitely a nice walk to take. Definitely a nice day to take a walk. Hey, to you, fellow citizen, would you be interested in trying some of my homemade lemonade? Oh, it's a witch. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have any money on you right now. Oh, you silly goose. I'm not charging anything for this. This is a free sample. Don't you fall see, for a day if she's a witch. Lemonade, which is, let's say, a little different than your usual. She's lemonade, a witch, Dave. Don't and fall for it. I was just her. going around the city, giving out free samples, and if all goes well, then I might sell them. So, what do you say? Want to try some? Well, if it's a free sample, then yes, please. I love lemonade. All right, here you go. Enjoy, big guy. It's actually a potion. That's not lemonade. Oh, that's weird. That lemonade tasted rather unusual. Uh, I feel funny all of a sudden. What yeah, else did you put in because you, it's a oh, potion, no. Dave. Something that's not you. lemonade. And he got Wait, turned no, into a cat. Oh what has happened to me? You have been turned into a cat. Duh. Duh. Huh. You silly, gullible person. You fell for my trick. Huh. <laughs> what? Dave what is a cat. Lemonade to even make me turn into a cat. Silly, silly man. That wasn't lemonade. That was magic potion. Yeah, and it was I'm a potion. Wish, of course. Well, it's not I'm actually lemonade. Now, so have fun being a cat. Dave is a cat. <laughs> Damn, she got away. Oh no, I am now stuck as a kitty cat. Wait, maybe Catherine can help because I have a theory that she is also a witch. So maybe she can fix me. Water. She probably could using Go Animal Logic. <laughs> Dave is a cat. Okay, time to binge watch my favorite TV show. And hopefully, Dave will be out for a few hours, so I can watch my show in peace and quiet. I wouldn't what say that if I were you, Catherine. Me. Dave, what's the view? Where are you? I can't see you anywhere. I'm down here. Water. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Water. Classic. Help me. I have been turned into a kitty cat, and I don't like being a cat. Water. Oh, for the love of Waffle House, how on earth did this even happen? Well, I was tripped into drinking some magic potion by a witch, and it turned me into a cat. Oh, I see. Well, do you know where the switch has gone now? No, she ran off cackling. As soon as it got turned into a cat, she probably went back to her castle or cave in the forest or something. But never mind that. I need you to help me. Well, I'm sorry, Dave. As much as I would like to help, I'm afraid that I don't know how to reverse this spell that has been put on you. I guess we'll have to wait for it to wear you off. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be a cat. I don't want to be stuck like this forever. Why? Oh, calm down, Dave. I'm sure that you won't be a cat forever. It will probably wear you off in a few days. I've looked up magic spells online and they usually wear you off after a few days. No. I will not accept this barbaric nonsense. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't find oh my you god. the TV and just I love how Dave, despite being turned into a cat, still managed just to knock the TV down. <laughs> my show was about to start too. But I am angry. For a few days, then I might as well embrace my inner kitty and dad like one, and now I am going to scratch the curtains. Boy, don't you dare scratch my lovely new Ha 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 Hey! Stop that, bad kitty. No. Bad kitty. <laughs> uh, well, this is going to be fun. Hopefully the spell will wear off in a couple of days. It better wear off because... Notion has been... Because Dave is a cat. <laughs> 
All right, next video, Childish Dad and the Horse. Yay, look at me. I am on a horse. Give me a horsey. Yay. Nice. Dave's riding a horse. There you are, Dave. I have been looking everywhere for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my Isn't God. Classic. <laughs> yeah, his name is Lord Nene. Do you like him? He is my new horsey now. <laughs> Where'd you get the horse anyways, Dave? Dave, where in the world did you even get the horse? Those things cost a lot of money and I know that you don't have the money to buy one, so tell me the truth right now, Mr. Muscle Man. Muscle Man. Well, you must know, I found it in a field and I have always wanted to ride a horse, so I climbed on Lord Nene and rode him back here. Wait, so you're telling me that you went into someone's field and took one of their horses? Well, wait. Are you trying to tell me that Lord Nene belongs to someone else? Probably. Well, it depends. Did you take it from a field that was near a farm? Well, yeah. Then, it obviously belongs to someone, so I want you to take that horse back to wherever you got it from. No. Lord Nene is my horsey now. I don't want to get back. I don't want to... Uh, I love this horsey, and I don't want Oops, to give it sorry, to I didn't mean to left click. Uh, <laughs> Dave is crying hey, while riding a horse. You get back here right now, muscle man. Muscle man. Uh, <laughs> get away from me, you wicked witch. Get away from me, you hey, wicked I'm witch. Dave Johnny Johnson, you get back. This is the first time I've seen Catherine run in a video. That's so funny. Here with that horse right <laughs> now, It doesn't belong to you. No. I am not giving back Lord Nene. He is my horsey now, you entitled Karen. Now get away from me, water. Dave, you better get back here. <laughs> I'm chasing you all through the city. My God. My God. <laughs> run, horsey. Run from that wicked witch, water. Lord Nene, why have you stopped? Come on, we need to get away from the evil witch named Catherine before she finds us. She stopped because that's the owner of the horse. That's the That's his owner. Excuse me, but just what do you think you are doing on my horse? I have been looking everywhere for them. But this is my horsey. His name is Lord Nene. Yeah, it's his horse. He stopped in front of the, the farmer because he's the owner of the horse. Actually, sir, I think you will find that horse is mine, and his name is not Lord Nene. His name is actually Bruce. Bruce? Oh, that's his name, not Lord Nene. Who's Lord Nene anyways? Stop He's not your horse, Dave. Time. You stole it from the farm. Cricket claiming that this horse is yours. Aha, uh -huh. there you are, Dave Johnny Johnson. No more running away, otherwise you will be in big trouble. Now look, sir, I am not going to tell you again. Get off my damn horse. You know, you should count yourself lucky that I'm not pressing charges. No. Lord Nene is my horsey, not yours. Yeah, you're lucky he's not pressing charges. Oh, for crying out loud, Dave. Just get off the damn horse already. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to this gentleman here. So, you better get off right now. Otherwise, I will ban Barney the dinosaur from our house for life. You wouldn't dare, you evil witch. Well, unless you get off the horse and give it back to its rightful owner, then maybe I won't consider banning Barney for life. So, it's your choice. Well, Barney is probably the most important thing in the world to me, so I guess I have no choice but to return Lord Nene. See, that wasn't so difficult, was it? No. Alright, now that you have given my horse back, can y'all get off my property? What? Aren't you even gonna say thank you? No, because saying thank you is for sissies. Just get off my property or else I will press charges against your husband here. Wow. Is it your son? Ugh. Just forget it. Yeah, Come forget it. Dave. Man, I am going to miss Lord Nene. How to sound more confident? <laughs> Too funny. Dave literally just stole a horse from a farm. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so that's the last video I'm going to react to. I'll end my video here. Hope you enjoyed these hilarious videos, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.